If you are in any need of prayer or advice, make sure you comment or email. God bless you. Let me say something, and you may not like what I say, but hey. <laughs> let me use an example. So let me use a random name. Joe. So let's say that Joe goes to woman A and takes her baby and cuts open the baby's throat. Something is wrong with Joe, right? Nothing good. For a person to cut a baby's throat. Let's say that Joe goes to woman B and takes the baby and bash open the baby's head. You may even say, hey, Joe belongs in jail. Let's say that Joe goes to woman C and drowns the baby. What would you say about that? You would say, <laughs> we need to really pray for Joe or something like that because Joe is not acting properly. What would you say to a woman who aborts her baby? Wouldn't you use the same judgment as you judged Joe? Now, people like to say aborting. No, you are killing. You are killing your baby. So if Joe belongs in jail or somewhere else, don't women who choose to kill their baby, don't they deserve some type of punishment as well? And you may say, well, Kevin, it is legal in many places, perhaps, to abort, to kill your baby. Listen, it doesn't matter where it is legal. If what you are doing is wrong, then it is wrong. Do you believe that God is pleased with what you are doing? Do you believe that God is going to bless you for shedding innocent blood? Do you believe that God is going to say to you, hey, since you are killing so many of your babies, let me bless your land. Let me bless your country. Let me bless you all for killing your babies. What happens when you choose to shed innocent blood? Judgment. What happened to Cain when he chose to kill his brother? Judgment. So, if you are a Christian and you kill your babies or you entice, persuade other women to kill their babies, that is not right. Now, what you should do is repent of your sins 
that is what you need to do. Some people may say, well, Kevin, what if I was raped? What if they said that my baby was going to come out disabled or whatever else? Listen, I was talking to my dad earlier today, maybe mm, five hours ago or somewhere around there. And him and I were talking about God. And I believe I was saying to him, many of the situations that we are in, I believe God places us there to see how we are going to react. So, as long as you are human, <laughs> bad things are going to happen to you. So what are you going to do while you are in a trial or a test by God? Are you going to do evil to get yourself out? Or are you going to do what the Bible says to get through the test? Nothing ever happens by chance. I was telling my dad that, I believe. Nothing ever happens by chance. Everything happens for a reason. Are you going to use what you have learned about the Bible? Or are you going to slide back right into sin again, believing that you have to do that to get out of your bad situation. What are you going to do? So let's say you did get raped. Okay. If you don't want the baby, allow it to be adopted. If your baby is going to come out disabled and if you don't want to do all that work and hardships, whatever else, allow it to be adopted. Don't kill it. Adoption is so much better than killing your baby. It is not aborting. It is killing. Why not take, take the knife and cut the baby's throat yourself? Why not? Because you are partaking when you are allowing the doctor or whatever else to kill your baby or whatever else you use you are a partaker of it because you are allowing it. Now, it is one thing if someone comes and punches you right where the baby is at while you are pregnant. That is one thing. But you choosing to kill your baby, you are a partaker of it. You are shedding innocent blood. This is what you are doing, and you may get mad at me for saying this. Hey, whatever. You can be disappointed in me, so be it. But you are killing your baby. Stop. Listen. If you say that you want to know God, if you say that you are a Christian, if you are promoting killing babies, that is wrong. Listen, even if aborting, no, even if killing your baby is legal where you are at, listen, this world is so wicked. This world is so corrupted to where in places they are allowing homosexuals to get married. That is not good, so bad. That is evil, wickedness. I won't be surprised if they would allow pedophiles to marry kids four and above. 
I won't be surprised. I would not. But when you choose to shed innocent blood, especially how things are now, my Lord, <laughs> judgment is coming. So you can call me crazy and say that I don't know what I am talking about and you can continue doing the wickedness that you are choosing to do. But you can't say that you was not warned. We all have to stand before God. We all do. And we have to take in, an, in account to what we have done on this earth. This is why I tell you all to repent of your sins and come to God now. If you don't repent of killing your babies, how can you expect to get into heaven? How? When you are shedding innocent blood. Killing your baby is nothing to be proud of. It is not. And you may say, well, it is the man's fault because I told the man not to do this and not to do that. And you may be right. So because the man made the mistake, you are going to abort? Because the man want you to abort, you are going to do it? If you don't want the baby, allow it to be adopted. Even if it is the man's fault, let's say that it is all the man's fault. If you allow the baby to be aborted, no, to be killed, you are a partaker of that sin. So you are as guilty of that sin as that man. It doesn't matter if it is a man or a woman. If the man is with or accepting or want you to abort to kill a baby, hey, it is his fault and her fault too. Don't do it. Listen, if you don't want to be pregnant, stop having sex. <laughs> well, Kevin, I am not ready to get pregnant, so let me kill my baby. Stop having sex if you don't want to be pregnant. So when you say that it is the man's fault, unless it is rape, how is it the man's fault? Unless it is rape. Think about that. Let me stop here. Make sure you share this and subscribe. God bless you.